Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-15E Strike Eagle and we're looking at air-to-air -air gunnery. Needless to say this aircraft has the M61 6 barreled Vulcan cannon and there are three modes of aiming the cannon. One is funnel without radar track, two is funnel with radar track and three gun director sight with radar track. First controls. Push and hold trigger to fire the gun. Coolie up short press to change between different gunnery modes. Auto acquisition press to reject a radar target. And weapons mode switch aft gun to select the gun. Next, prerequisites to use the gun. We're going to make sure our radar is on and it currently is turned on. But in fact, because I want to show it off first without the radar, probably the easiest way is if I just turn the radar off. So radar is now off. We need to make sure our master arm is on and our master mode is air to air, which it is. We're now going to select the gun with the command that we showed earlier and select. We know we've got the gun selected. If we look at the bottom of the B scope, for instance, we're in guns mode. Right, now I'm going to chase this guy and hopefully he's going to try and run away from me. Let's just uh, see if he does. He is absolutely not going to run away from me. So what I'm going to do is just pick my head in front of him. Let him know that I'm here. Hello, Mr. Russian. Would you mind going evasive? There we go, viewers. Right, let's just let him get ahead a little bit. Right, I'm going to get some G into the aircraft. It's going to help explain the gun funnel. And there. We know, first of all, that we've got funnel mode selected because on the HUD it says FNL. We know we've not got a radar track because the radar's turned off and it's clearly not got a radar track. Here are the amount of rounds left in the gun. Here is our inertial non-radar assisted funnel. There and there. The funnel is there to allow us to approximate lead that I need to add for my shot to hit a target. The idea is you fly so that the wingspan of the hostile match the funnel. The funnel a standard is set up for a wingspan of 40 feet which is about what this aircraft is here. In terms of where the rounds will go when you pull the trigger, that there is the gun cross. That's where the gun is always aiming. But because of bullet drop due to gravity and the movement of my aircraft, the rounds will fall away from that gun cross. We have three dots to predict where those rounds will be after certain ranges. 1,000 foot of travel, 2,250 feet of travel and 4,000 feet of travel. Note, without radar assistance, this gun funnel is purely driven by the inertial move of my aircraft. It takes no account at all into the movement of the hostile aircraft because it doesn't know where he is. And that is the inertial gun funnel and I suppose you're going to want to watch me use it now, which is always going to be fun. And draw some lovely shapes with it as well. Right, and I'm a terrible shot with a gun funnel, so we'll just do our best. Haha, <laughs> got him first time, viewers! <laughs> How about that? Let's chase him around a bit. You gotta, gotta get him like that, in there. Yeah. Got him again! <laughs> That's generally the first time as well. Ah, uh, right, very good. That's the inertial gun funnel. What if we want to add radar to it? And for that, I'm gonna restart. I just wanna reset everything to the beginning. This time, I'm gonna leave the radar on, but I'm gonna turn my master arm on. This time, I'm going to press gun select again, but with the radar on, if you've seen my auto acquisition mode video, selecting the gun with the radar on will put it in a radar search mode for the gun. We know where it's searching because we can look at our B-scope. It's searching left to that point there, right to that point there, up to that point there, and down to that point there, in a big letterbox roughly where my cursor is encompassing. It will take a while, but anything within that letterbox will get picked up and automatically tracked. So let's just let that happen. It might take a few seconds. There, we've got him. We now have a radar track. But when we get a radar track, this is called an SCT, a single target track, it will default to the mode we don't want. It will default to GDS because GDS is the better mode. We want to change to radar funnel and we do that with coolie up short. Done. We've now got funnel. So we now have radar assisted funnel. And I'm just going to get it a slightly better parameters to show that off again. About that, You know what? It'll do. So we now have extra symbology. 
First thing to say is that the funnel now is not just driven by our inertial movement. It also takes into account his range. It's a more accurate funnel than it was before. We also have, for the first time, a gun's reticle. It's this guy here. This is a really useful piece of kit. What it's saying is because we now have a radar track, all we have to do is place this gun Pippa, the center of the reticle, onto the target and pull the trigger and the onboard computer has automatically calculated the amount of lead needed. So move that to that guy there, pull trigger, the guy dies. And that will work hand in hand with the radar assisted funnel. Note, we no longer need the ranging dots because we've got the reticle. We also now have a range scale, zero, five nautical miles, 10 nautical miles. He is actually at there, less than one nautical mile. And our closing velocity is minus 32 knots. He's outrunning me by 32 knots. Also, he's at an altitude of 16.6 thousand feet. His aspect relative to us is T, tail. He's tail on. We have funnel selected and he's at a range of 0.1 nautical miles. And that is the radar assisted funnel symbology. All I've got to do now is put the reticle on him, fire and he dies. But I'll probably miss anyway because I've got super cap I believe. Missed. Missed. Haha, <laughs> can't do it. I'm afraid, viewers. That's what happens when the camera goes on. Well, I'm definitely hitting him. Oh, got him. Uh, yeah, not the best shooting. But theoretically, that's how it should be. So what we're going to try now is GDS, the final version. So radar is on, master arm on. Air to air mode is already on. I'm going to press gun select. It's automatically going to go into guns acquisition, auto acquisition mode. It's going to get him. And now we're defaulting to GDS. Much of the same symbology. Let's just look at a different symbology first. And I just realized I forgot to mention this in the previous mode. It has the target designator box here showing where the target is, which is part of the radar lock. By the way, if you want to lose the radar lock on this guy, press auto acquisition, press short, and it will quit the radar lock. So it now says GDS, gun direct to sight. Everything else I believe is the same, but the reticle now has a ranger. If we look at the reticle here, which should be doing the same job as it was before, but it also has a winding ranger. For every tick mark is 1,000 feet of range. He's at 1,000 feet, all the way up to 12,000 feet of range. And you have to be within range for this symbology to show. We also have this plumb line. This is our plane of motion. It shows the hostile's plane of motion relative to us. And I'm not sure I can explain that very well, so I'm probably going to have to show you what happens when he starts manoeuvring. Just got to let him. There we go. Don't notice me. So watch what happens to the relative plane of motion. Can you see, because he's moving in that direction now, the plane of motion will drop from my gun cross here, and my pipa and reticle will always travel along that plane of motion. So let's go. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. I'm going to try and shoot him, and hopefully we'll get some more accuracy this time. We'll see. Ah. Wait that the camera adds 10 pounds, viewers. Got him! <laughs> Maybe not the best example of use, but it showed you what I need to show in terms of symbology and how we use it. That's all we've got to show for air-to-air -air gunnery at the moment. I hope that was useful and see you later.